Then there's another word. There's redemption and remission and justification and cleansing. Then there's peace. Peace in the midst of a world filled with war. We're told that there are 40 wars going on right now in the world. And there's all sorts of wars in families. All sorts of wars between friends going on. In Colossians 1.20 it says, And having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself. Because of that blood we can have peace. There are three types of peace spoken of in the Bible. First is peace with God. You see, God says that because of our sins, we're at war with Him. He makes peace at the cross. Then there's the peace of God that the Holy Spirit produces in you. When you come to Christ, you have a peace that you've never known before. Think of the restlessness in the world today. Among so many of us, the, the pressures that we live under. But to think of having peace in the midst of it all. And then there's peace between nations, and that's going to happen someday when Jesus comes back again and reign as King of kings and Lord of lords. I'll talk about that Sunday afternoon. There's absolute harmony in heaven because of the shed blood. I heard about a famous incident in the First World War. A terrible battle had taken place, and there were two wounded soldiers. One was a German and the other was French. And as they lay near each other on the field, the Frenchman gave his enemy a drink of cool water for his tongue. Then they clasped hands and they prayed. And the dying German said, there'll be no war on the other side. And in a few moments, they were both on the other side. And there's no war there. Peace, but you can have that peace here and now. In the midst of the troubles and trials and discouragements of life and the pressures of life, you can have the peace of God that passeth all understanding right now. There's no war going on in the heart of those who really know Christ if you surrender to Him. 